Hi, I'm Dr. V. I'm Chief of the Spine Pain Program at Bloor Pain Specialists, and today I'm going to be talking about MRI. So clumping of the nerve roots is actually one of these findings that we get a little bit worried about as clinicians who think about uh, patient symptoms and patient safety. And when our nerve roots are passing through our spine, they should have a wide open space. The bones shouldn't be pushing the nerve. The discs shouldn't be pushing the nerves. The ligaments shouldn't be thick and hard and they shouldn't be pushing the nerves. But as we age or as we have certain events in our life, we can either have space occupied by growing joints, arthritis, hypertrophy we talked about. Uh, we can have disc bulges or protrusions or extrusion sequestrations that we talked about occupying some of that central space to cause spinal stenosis. And that stenosis is a narrowing. When, it, when we have a narrowed space, well, how much narrowing? Does it matter? Well, the question is, well, how much do, do the nerve roots have in terms of space? And when they have lots of space, then we know there's a large margin of safety. But when there's not so much space, when the fluid around the spine is barely visible or not visible at all, then we know the nerve roots are being squished together and clumped. You can think of this like a room or an elevator. If you have an elevator that seems to have enough space for say half a dozen people or a dozen people, and then all of a sudden you take away half of the space of the elevator by putting in a large, piece of furniture. All those people have to clump in together. They're making a lot of contact. They might not be so comfortable. And same with the nerve roots. When they're being squished into each other, sometimes they lose their function. Sometimes they don't feel good. Sometimes it causes pain. Sometimes they feel weird. Sometimes they feel numb or feel like they're swollen. Or if it's in our lumbar spine, they feel like they're not firing well. And so our foot feels like it's in water or it's burning, like we're walking on hot coals. And those are all kinds of dysfunctions that can happen from clumping of the nerve roots. Oftentimes this means surgery, unfortunately. Sometimes we can rescue some of those symptoms with physical exercise maneuvers, rehabilitative maneuvers. Sometimes we can help someone with anti-inflammatory medications or other medications. And other times we can inject a medication called a corticosteroid or run a radio frequency current to the dorsal roots, the ganglia that process a signaling to make them calmer. These are all efforts to improve patient symptoms, but ultimately which efforts are applied depend on who's in front of us, what their presentation is, what their symptoms are, what, what neurological concerns we have for them, what the urgency is, and what their preferences are. Sometimes people are losing function, but absolutely they refuse surgery. That's their choice. People should be empowered and educated to make their own decisions, and we're here to support them. Thanks for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe below. If you have any questions that you'd like us to address in a future video, please leave them in the comments area. If you want us to answer any questions about your care specifically, please contact the clinic directly.